Throughout history, females have been the symbol of life and fertility. Their unique ability to carry and nourish young ones lies in the complexities of their reproductive system that, as we are about to see, functions as a whole to receive sperm and favor egg fertilization. In a woman, the reproductive organs are vagina, cervix, uterus, fallopian tubes and ovaries. All these organs work together to menstruate, conceive and reproduce. Vagina is a tube-like structure which ends at the cervix. This is the region situated between the vagina and the uterus. The cervix leads into the cervical canal which continues as the uterus. The uterus is a muscular organ comprising the peritoneum or outer layer, the myometrium or middle layer and endometrium or inner layer. On either side of the uterus are the fallopian tubes. They extend from the upper side of the uterus and lead to the ovaries. The ovaries are oval shaped and are attached to the upper part of the uterus by the ovarian ligament and behind it is located the broad ligament or mesovarium. Near the ovaries, some funnel shaped structures known as infundibulum with fimbriae are observed that help to collect the mature egg. If we see a section of the ovary, we observe a germinal epithelium, a cortex region with the ovarian follicles at different stages of maturity, each of which contains an ovum. The innermost part of the ovary is called the medulla and consists of blood vessels and nerves. The ovarian or egg follicle releases a hormone known as estrogen and the corpus luteum secretes the hormone progesterone. Every month, one egg follicle matures. This follicle releases its ovum which is known as ovulation. This ovum then moves into the fallopian tube. At this point, if sperm enters the vagina and continues to enter through the cervix and uterus and finally reaches the fallopian tube, then fertilization may occur. On observing the ovum carefully, we see numerous sperm cells swimming towards it. Only one sperm is able to enter the ovum or egg cell and thus fertilization occurs. This fertilized egg gradually moves into the uterus. The fertilized egg finally gets implanted in the uterine wall and is known as the embryo. This embryo starts to divide and finally forms the fetus. In a woman, the reproductive organs work together to menstruate, conceive and reproduce. Vagina is a tube-like structure which ends at the cervix. The uterus is a muscular organ. The ovaries are oval shaped and are attached to the upper part of the uterus. If we see a section of the ovary, we observe with the ovarian follicles at different stages of maturity, each of which contains an ovum. Every month, one egg follicle matures. This follicle releases its ovum, which is known as ovulation. Only one sperm is able to enter the ovum or egg cell and thus fertilization occurs. The fertilized egg finally gets implanted in the uterine wall and is known as the embryo. This embryo starts to divide and finally forms the fetus.